Hello, everybody. Uh, we expect a couple of other colleagues to join us here today, uh, but we like to start on time, and so Senator Barrasso and I will proceed. Uh, the last news conference I held here was on February 16 on inflation, where multiple senators referenced incredibly high gas prices as well as prices across the commodities. And since that time, the inflation numbers have kept on coming in as growing. While Russian aggression and necessary responses are sure to push prices even higher with regard to gas, the skyrocketing gas prices have been a more than a year in the making. And the purpose of this press conference is to respond specifically on the administration's efforts to say, well, the inflation is really a, you know, a responsibility of Putin, not a responsibility of the actions of this administration. Uh, I think the fact that the inflation was roaring for a year before Vladimir Putin even uh, started the invasion in Ukraine uh, on multiple products, not just oil and gas, uh, is just proof in and of itself. But from the time that President Biden took office to just before Russia invaded Ukraine, gas prices increased by 48 percent. You can see both charts here. This one shows January of 2021 when the president took office. A 48 percent increase in gas prices before this line, which is where the invasion began. Now, this chart shows that in that time frame, gas went up by $1.15 per gallon. Post-inflation, driven by the war in Ukraine and by the further pressures on inflation that have been driven by administration policies, the gas has gone up another 71 cents. The point is clear. The war in Ukraine with regard to oil and gas has had an impact on oil prices. It's not the reason that the majority of the increase in oil prices has occurred. Why did they occur? Because in the last 14 months, the Democrats, including the president, have been attacking the American oil and gas industry and stopping our own production. Before the president took office, we were energy independent and we were actually supplying liquid national, natural gas uh, to Europe in competition with Russia. But today, that is all ramping down and America is now once again energy dependent because of the attack on our American oil and gas production, which includes everything from the Keystone XL pipeline to the refusal to grant any new leases or extend any permits off offshore or on our federal properties or things that I'm sure others of my colleagues will go into in more detail. The solution is not a gimmick like reducing the or eliminating for a short period of time the tax on gasoline or the uh, falsely named windfall profits tax that really is an effort to tax our American producers if they increase their production. They don't control the price of oil. They can control the amount of their production. And if they try to get back in the game, the proposal is to tax them, which will simply drive the price of gas up higher. Now, the problem here is that the administration, and what we're here to focus on today, is that the administration has a war on our own American energy independence. And that's what needs to be addressed in America to try to deal with the rising cost of fuel and the rising cost of many other products that are fuel dependent. And with that, I'll turn now to Senator Barrasso for his remarks.